Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So this channel, Every Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts in learn science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I'm going to solve this question on status scratch regarding admin department employees beginning in April or later, both using Python as well as MySQL and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is easy. This question has been asked in Microsoft and Amazon interviews and it's a great question if you are preparing for data engineer, data scientist, BI analyst, data analyst, ML engineer or software engineer roles. Okay, let's jump right in. The question reads, find the number of employees working in the admin department that joined in April or later. So it does not tell you a particular date. It just tells you the month that April or later. So we are given a data frame called worker and our expected output is basically, uh, you know, a number, the how many uh, employees in the admin department joined in April or later. Now let's look at this data frame, right? So if we look at it, we have various information, joining date, department, etc. If you look at it, right? So you have various uh, joining dates and it is not confined to only one particular year, right? So it might look like everything is for 2014, but if you scroll down, you see that, okay, there is one 2015, right? Or at least there are two entries, one from admin department 2015. So now it the question, all it says is in April. So it does not say you that April of 2014 or April of 2015, right? So, so this might confuse you. So all we need to do is you, if the, you know, question is not mentioning any particular year. So we don't need to assume that, okay, uh, the joining date should be 2014, 04, 01 that date or greater than one we don't need to assume that we we are you know trying to make it generalized based on the question all it says is april or later so what we can do is the best way is we can just extract the month out of this joining date right and then make sure that okay month of april is number four right so wherever your month is greater than or equal to four you just keep that and make sure the department is admin and then count it right that is all we going to do so to do that, what we can do is worker.head, right? So first thing is we need to make sure that the department is admin. So we can do Boolean indexing, right? So Boolean indexing is worker and then you can provide the true false values or the Boolean values. So make sure that your department column, right? Has values equal, equal to admin, right? If I run this, we are going to have only those rows. Oh, okay. The name of the column is not correct department run this okay so all the rows are for those uh, where department is admin right now what we need to do is let's save this in a data frame called df right and we already have you know uh, imported date time as dt then let's make a new column which is going to basically have which month this particular person joined right so we can have let's say a column called month which is equal to df of joining date right joining date and we can use the date time module so date time dot month right and let me just return it back let's see what we get so now we have a column called month and which is basically okay which month it does not matter which year which just the which month this person joined so once we have this then what we can do is we can perform another level of boolean indexing and say that wherever your month is greater than equal to four then you count it because you already have made sure the department is admin so the next level of boolean indexing is month which is greater than equal to four right so now if i run this then there are four different cases right where the person joined in month of april or later and then obviously you need to count it so if i just do dot count right it is going to return a bunch of fours right so obviously you don't need all that because the expected output is just one right so what we can do is we can just write drop duplicates so uh, drop duplicates and let's run this let's see what we get so you have four, right? So let me go ahead and submit to this pass all the test cases. So yeah, everything is green and this is how we do it. Now let's look at how the corresponding code looks like in MySQL. Okay, so if you look at it, same question, right? Table worker expected output is, you know, one uh, 
row and one column number of admins uh, a worker also the table worker also has the same uh, you know information so now what we can do is first thing is we should make sure that your department is admin so from this table called worker let's make sure that we are only keeping those rows where department is equal to admin right and then we also need to make sure that the month is four or more that is you know uh, april or more so and month of the joining date column right is greater than equal to four right in those cases you basically count right count distinct worker ids right worker ids so basically that will give you the count of workers in admin department who have joined in april or later right so count distinct of worker id and it should be alias as whatever is required in our output so as number of admins let me go ahead and run this let's see what we get so a number of admins four let me go ahead and submit your passes all the test cases so yeah everything is green and this is how we do it so not a very difficult question it might be confusing in the beginning because you know the dates are all over the place and it is not you know confined to only one particular year they should have mentioned that but if it is not mentioned you just you know go by the language of the question that all they care about is april or later so we just do month joining date is greater than equal to four right so by doing this we are basically assuming that in every year right every year the data is there the uh, in the admin department who all have joined after april or in in april or after april so yeah this is how we do it let me know if there is a better way or more efficient way you can think to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i will see you guys in the next video